Welcome back guys, time for another Divi Beginner Tutorial. This one's actually a little more intermediate, I guess you could say. We're going to increase the size of the slider here. And a lot of you want it to go to the bottom of the screen. So some themes have like a default setting where it will just touch the bottom of whatever the screen is in your browser window. Um, but in Divi, I'm not sure they have that. If they do, please let me know in the comments. But usually in Divi, we just manually increase the slider height. So let's see how to do it. Okay, and I don't believe we need to be in our theme customizer or our theme options. We just need to go to enable visual builder. And then you're just gonna hit on the slider settings, that gray bar and design. And the tricky part is finding sizing. We don't usually go to sizing. So when you're in sizing, you can go down to the height. The min height, it usually is like just auto, so it's nothing. And when you move it, the slider should start moving. So there you go. You can make it a lot. You can make it probably more if you really fudge the numbers. And that would be how to get your slider to touch the bottom of the screen. Keep in mind that changing the slider height on your desktop will have effects on mobile and stuff like that too. And you might have to write in some CSS mobile queries to get everything looking perfect. Or you can do what I've done, which I love, um, which is having two versions of a specific module. So this one is for mobile and it's hidden on desktop. And this one is for desktop and it's hidden on things like mobile and tablet. So you can have two different modules, you can have three. You can always just go ahead and copy a module and then design it for a different screen size and then hide it on other screen sizes. Pretty cool. So that's how it works. And of course, look, I want these dashes on mobile and tablet, but I don't want them on desktop. And that's why it's created out here on desktop. So cool. And you can also just like hard set the height by going to sizing. And instead of the min or max height, just do like height, you know, and that way you can be a little more forceful with your site. Or you can go back to auto and restore the default. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you could watch our intro course for beginners on how to get a professional website up with Divi and learn the features. Make sure to subscribe so you get all our Divi notifications right away when they're published. There'll be a lot more coming. It's free, so why not? And thanks for watching.